Hello everyone and welcome to this week's wordplay activity and today we're going to be exploring cathexis. But before we go into what that is, I need you to think of an object. Now this can't just be any old object, this needs to be an object that has a purpose, okay? Now it can't just be like an ornament that people look at and it looks nice or a framed picture. It needs to be an object that does something. So have a little think about that object. Uh, you can go and get it if it belongs in your house. Um, if it doesn't, just think of it in your mind or you could even get a picture from the internet just to give you a greater sense of the object. So what is cathexis? Well, a cathexis focuses on the writing technique that we call personification. But what is personification? Well, to personify something is to give something that isn't a human human qualities. For example, um, if the sun is shining brightly, someone could say that the sun is smiling down on us. <coughs> now, we know that the sun can't smile. There, that's an example of personification. A cathexis is a really interesting way of personifying your object and making the reader believe that this thing is an actual human being until right at the very last moment when you reveal the object in its entirety. Let's break this down a little bit. <laughs> Think about your object, your chosen object that we discussed at the start of this session. Remember, it must have a purpose, but it doesn't need to exist in your house. It could be anything. I'm going to use this remote control as an example. The first thing I'd like you to do with your writing equipment is write down for me the purpose of your object. So the purpose of this is to turn the channels and change them on the television so that you, the human, doesn't have to get up from your comfortable sofa. Now it's time to expand on this further and go into deeper detail with regards to our object. So I'm going to bring back my remote control. As you can see, there are loads of buttons on this remote control. Each button, if pressed, will result in a different outcome. Not only that, it's called a remote control. It controls the television and the different channels that you can go between. Finally, at the very back, this is where the battery is kept. No battery, no working remote control. Get everything down you can think of in terms of the different components of your object. Hopefully, by writing these facts down, it's starting to give you some clues about your object's personality. For example, this guy can control things. They can go between different channels and they essentially Give people what they want. I think that my character is quite powerful. Yeah, I think my remote control is quite a powerful guy. Have a little think. Break down your sentences that you've written down and come up with clues to give you an idea and a sense of what your character is like. This will help you in your writing task that's next. Now it's time to write as though you are the object. That's right, you are going to write from the point of view of the object. Hopefully now you've got a sense of what your character's personality is like, your object's personality, and you're going to write as though you are it. But here's the challenge. You cannot let the reader know that you are an object until the very last moment. As the reader is reading your writing, they must truly believe you are a person. This means you need to make your writing and your choice of language ambiguous. What's ambiguous? Well, 
well, if something is ambiguous, it can have more than one interpretation and maybe doesn't have an obvious meaning. Have a listen to my remote control cathexis to give you an idea. I'm going to read it now. I am in control of all. With just the click of a button, I can transport you into 280 different places. I can speak more than eight languages and ensure you feel comfortable and happy in your surroundings at all times. I'll be there to watch you laugh, to watch you cry, and if you don't like it, don't fret, I can make it disappear. You can travel through different landscapes, channels at your fingertips, with me as your guide. Worried you might miss an experience? Double booked your plans? Don't worry, I can stop time for you. Then you can join in at your leisure. But don't lose me. You won't be able to survive without me. Your window to the outside world will be gone because I am the remote control. Rewind to the start of the remote control cathexis and see if you can write down any words or phrases that give clues about what this object actually is. That will help you in generating your own ideas to see about the style of writing uh, that we're trying to create right now. Also, did you notice that I revealed the object right at the very, very end in the last sentence? That's also something I would like you to do in your writing as well. I'm going to read one more cathexis out to you, but I'm not going to tell you what the object is. See if you can guess. I will give you a clue though. This definitely cannot be found in my house. I am set on my target as well as feeling proud to serve. Although my chamber shakes in fear, I am steady and focused like a lion about to pounce. Suddenly, I hear a sharp bang with a flash of gunpowder and there I go, flying through the air as fast as the speed of light. If only I could bury myself in the darkened shadow before me, who has no idea what's coming. If only I could create stillness in him. At that very moment, I notice something is wrong. Moreover, the howling, swishing wind is casting me leftwards, further away from my target, where there is nothing but vast wasteland. I feel angry. This is my one chance and it's not going right. Is this where my life should end? In a ground of destruction and death? Without purpose? Without life? I am simply a failure. I am the bullet. Again, feel free to rewind, re-listen to that cathexis and jot down any words or phrases that give a hint or a clue as to what the object actually is. Did you find this one easier to guess? It's all very interesting, isn't it? Now it's time for you to write your cathexis and we would love to hear from you. I absolutely love a cathexis. I think it's so, so imaginative and wonderful to use language in this way uh, to trick your reader in a way. Uh, so if you do write a cathexis, please send it in uh, to us so that we can share it on our social media platforms. Or if you don't want us to share it, that's not a problem at all. Please send it on to us anyway, though, so that we can celebrate your work. It's best to maybe email grimapothecary at gmail.com. But all the information will be in our activity sheet attached with this video. Enjoy. <laughs>